Hey guys, how are you? Do you like my new avatar? Welcome to FA channel. We're all about celebrating our technology and creativity. And in this episode, I changed my avatar. I'm a new VTuber now. Yo, yay. <laughs> no, this episode, it's more about introducing this new service on the avatar creating software, Ready Player Me. Back in when we started this channel, I think the first couple of videos when we talk about um, create your avatar for VR, we didn't really include this software because at that moment, they only can capture raised up. Like you can't really use this avatar for VR chat. Um, you, they, you, you, cause you won't have the whole body tracking. So a couple of days ago, which we, we saw the news, Ready Player Me started this new service that you can take self selfie of yourself and then you can directly upload it to VR chat. So it, we get really excited. So in this video, I want to talk about how you can use that, the Ready Player Me to upload your avatar directly to VR chat. Then the process seems really easy. After that, we're trying, we want to try new things. So we start to, we try to figure out how to use this avatar to make my, like tracking my hand and motion to use to talk to you guys with this new avatar. And then I don't know, I just look so serious the whole time. I'm not familiar with this. Feels like I shouldn't laugh or do any kind of emotion. I feel like I'm just like ready to fight. <laughs> I don't know. What do you guys think? What do you think I should use from now? <laughs> I still prefer my real right avatar to talk on the channel. That feels more like me. Although this face looks more like my face. <laughs> I'm not sure if old Asian looks it. <laughs> uh, so yeah, anyway, so let's for this episode, first of all, we'll show you step by step how we use the Ready Player Me to create my avatar and upload it to VR Chat, and secondly, how we changed the FBX file into VRM, so now I can use as an avatar to talk to you guys. Let's get started. To get your avatar is really simple. All you need to do is go to the vrchat.readyplayer.me. You go to the website and then they will ask you to choose you want more feminine or masculine. Like then you choose, of course I choose feminine. You don't have to. I mean, I can be a man in VR. It doesn't have to be. But the, the thing is my face, they will track your face. So it's exactly like kind of track track how your face feature look like. So when I take selfie after I choose feminine and the, my face show up, you can't really change your face anymore or you can change it's like hairstyle and I got this cool cut tattoo on my face and then change your clothes. I like this, this outfit I choose for myself. And yeah, you can play around um basically that's all you can choose at this point i'm really curious what you guys face after take selfie would look like because i really think a lot of people will look kind of similar let's see i i think more people will start to play around so once you choose the clothes and everything that you like for your avatar then click done and then they will ask you to upload it to the vr chat or to sign up for the email. I did sign up for for the email or you can just like continue skip the email part. I didn't really receive any email. I'm sh I'm not sure what is that supposed to mean. It, so you can just skip it or you can just sign up. That's it's not really um a, I don't think it's a huge deal at this point. And then yeah, you can directly uh upload this avatar on VR chat and and because a lot of people are doing it at the same time, so you just need to wait for a bit. If you want to download this avatar file, the FBX file, you just need to copy the URL and download it. Uh, I will go check in the VR chat later to see how my avatar can be used 
in front of me or I can see myself. Uh, now let's talk about how to convert this FBX file into VRM. First of all, you need to download the Uni VRM. I talk about this Uni VRM a couple of times when we make digital clothes for my avatar with the Clow software. So basically this Uni VRM, when you download it, you it's the you get the, like this release page and you install this latest version that's the file you're supposed to download and then when you finish download the unity package and directly drop the as to the asset folder and then import everything then you import the fbx file you have for this avatar this file to unity and you use the legacy material uh, or it won't show the color of your avatar. Next step is to change the rig to humanoid. For this avatar, this avatar bone inside, as you can see, is quite simple. So we didn't see any big error or a lot of, it didn't take a lot of time to fix as we did for Vroid avatar. When you make sure everything is green and ready to go, you can drop the avatar to the scene. Next is to change the material to VRM compliable, like the m material, because VRM is supporting the shader. Now just export as the VRM file. The problem is with this VRM file, I don't have any facial expression. So okay. yeah, this is the facial expression, smiling, angry. Okay, okay. Mm. <laughs> so I don't really see I don't really see the importance of the facial expression, to be honest, but I, this mouth, when I talk, you can see my mouth moving. This function is very important for the VRM file. So the one we just exported, it doesn't support, it doesn't have any facial expressions. Basically, I can't move my face at all. My face will be completely still. So if you want your face to be able to have facial expression, or move your mouth when you talk, you need to modify the file again, which means you need to drop this VRM file you just exported back to Unity and set up the facial expression. Like this, we're showing the background. You can take a look and play around and see what the facial expression you like to have. And then, yeah, and then you can, once you export again, you will have the VRM file that you can used to uh, in three tenant or VC phase. You can also upload it to cluster or any other software to use this avatar. When you do the Unity preview, it sometimes it looks different than it actually looks like. So try to upload the VRM file into uh, Vroid Hub or any software that you can, you can preview and see if your avatar is the right shading, the right tune, and um, because the shading texture, the shading texture can be different, depends on what kind of software you, you're using. So make sure that is right. So yeah, that's it. That's, you can have fun with your new avatar. Mm, do apps like this. I'm really having fun with it. <laughs> Now I'm going to the VR chat and see how my avatar is going. Hello. I'm in VR chat right now. This is my new avatar. Wow, that feels good because I, it looks really good. I think it's better than using the, the VR, um, the VC face from desktop because I, I think the hair color looks better. What do you guys think? Let's go to the camera, uh, the mirror and see. I'll show you from the mirror. Seems like I can change my facial expression. Oh, I'm smiling. <laughs> so it looks like it's too long, take too long to upload. I guess a lot of people are doing it right now. So we just manually upload it on VR chat to show you guys how it looked like. I really like it. Let's do maybe some dance move. Mm -hmm. 
dance. Yay. <laughs> cool. <laughs> it does look like me somehow. I guess it's the it's the face. Yeah, anyway, if you like to have your like human like look similar like you kind of avatar, guys go for it. This is fun. Let's go. And yeah, and please comment and let me know what you think. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to ask us. You can comment our YouTube channel or join our Discord server. We'll answer as soon as possible. Please subscribe our channel for new updates every week. That's it for today's video. Thank you for watching. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.